Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Koboman, and in today's video we're building a workstation PC which will be used for virtual machines such as VMware firewalls and virtual hosts. For this we need a lot of CPU power, lots of RAM, and lots of fast storage as we have here. We have one terabyte of Samsung solid state storage, we have an i7-8700K by Intel, and we also have a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM by Ballistic Sports memory. In addition to that, we have EVGA power supply, which is 650 gold power supply G2 version. And also we have liquid cooling, which is EVGA closed loop CPU cooler. For us to install things into, we have a mid tower S340 model by NZXT. This is a really good clean looking desktop case that we used for this installation. However, there were some minor issues when it comes to installing the power supply, simply because it's awkwardly positioned on the bottom there and separate from the system itself, you will see in the video. Of course, for everything that we use here, there will be links in the description box below for all components. Okay, so first thing first. Uh, we can install the motherboard first or we can install Where's the where's the hole for the power supply? Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's nice actually. So we mm, let's let's do the the uh, motherboard first. Taco de neamo cables hanging. That's fine. Like on top of oh, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wait, it's a lot easier. Well, it's a nice looking motherboard. Yeah. We might have, it has heat sinks for yeah. I guess for the chipset right here. That's it's nice. Good and this one. It's gonna go like this actually. So we just gotta make sure that we align these holes to the little spacers there. Wow. So we need to put the bike plate in first on that back plate. Where does that go? Oh, on the back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's for the connectors. Gotcha. Oh, look, it has a VGA. I'm surprised actually that it does have VGA in it. Where does that go on top of VGA? Yeah, or, basically. Or so yeah, we just have to make sure that the back plate is inserted back there so that we have this type of action going on. Ah, nice. Hold that for a sec. Oh, just clips. Got mm -hmm. it. That's yeah, cool. it just clips in. Almost. Wow. It still okay. has Okay, there it is, finally. It still has a, a, a PS2 mouse. Is that is that what that is, Bootsu? Yeah, for sure. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, see, that's why they. I was surprised they had the VGA in there. I guess they have a PS2 yeah, as well. This is not really a top notch, is it? That's like a mid mid range. Is what I'm hoping. What this? Is, the uh, motherboard. I don't know. I actually haven't really looked this up. How much did, was it? Like the most expensive one? No, or the cheapest one. No, it was mid priced. The mid price. So yeah. it's mid range then. Yeah, that's kind of what it what it feels like. Yeah. So back here, we just have to make sure that it's aligned with the back plate. Slowly let it sit. Make sure you push it back a little bit because it does actually need a little bit of wiggle room back there. So now it's all flushed in the back. Actually, what I found a lot of times, you have to actually kind of push on it a little bit because the back plate itself is kind of bent. So, it, but it does flex a little bit. So it's okay to push a little bit on it just to align those little holes right there. You see. And now we can just put our screws in. Okay, that's just to hold it in. And never tighten them all the way until you put all your screws in. So that way you can tighten them a little bit. And you don't need to force anything either. So I went over them real quick just to make sure they're all tight, but you don't have to go crazy on that. Okay. Sada. We're going to do this last. Zato I know it's bulky. Znaš, it's mm -hmm. like it's going to be... Ma. I feel like we should do that last. Yeah. Is that what it's going to go over? Yep, and direct on it. Yeah. Okay, That's I just want to mention real quick that the power supply was really hard to and awkward to film, so I kind of had to skip that part of it. But as you can see on the right hand side, we installed it already. Some of these, but let's do the motherboard first. Oh, a 24 pin. <laughs> we use this hole for this other stuff. Yep. Okay, well that, that makes it easier, huh? That, that answers that question for us. Yep. 
We're just gonna use it. Yeah, we're gonna deal with that last anyway. So let's just put that out. I probably shouldn't have uh, used one of these. Like you know what I mean? Just bunch them together. Probably won't need to be. Well, we we can make those adjustments later. No, no, no. You just unbunch them now, so you can route them. Gotcha. I'm thinking this way, huh? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this, actually. Okay. And the valve. Okay, let me plug this one in. I'll just have here. to feel for it, I guess. Yeah, maybe if I was here, but then... No, no, two of these. We three can do these. those on the same power. Oh, so we'll these. just use one cable for that, for power. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can do that easier. You might access over the right here. I don't know, but... What does modular mean, too, by the way? That you can disconnect them. Uh-huh. You know, the modular, modular... Yeah, modular. Yeah, like you can dis you basically use the ones you want. Oh, okay. That's what it means. They're not all on the same route. Right. Yes, you yes, can yes. disconnect them, remove them, add them, uh, you know, add more later. Or that's that's what modular means. Yeah, this might be working better because it's on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not right in the it's middle. Safer. Rock, rock watch there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier. Okay. Sometimes stuff on the side somewhere. Depends which one it is. Like, oh, for this? Yeah, if it's like ah, Intel, which socket, and all it. that shit. Got it, got it. Uh, yeah, standoffs. You know. Maya, Maya. There's standoffs, and that to, thing goes on top. To lift it. it. Riser is a good word, yeah. Maya. Literally to lift it off of there. But where are the screws? Like, it doesn't talk about the screws that no. you used to. Oh, it's... Is that came, that came with it? Yes. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's it. And these came with the thing, right? Avi. I'm pretty sure they did, yeah. Okay. We switched this on the other laptop. I may need your help, actually. Okay. To put these into the. No. Can you English? Uh, well, I, c I could possibly do it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. I think I'm okay. No, I think I'm okay. Yeah. There's something like a shout out, and then you're good. Left. It's not that large, you know? Take it back. So, my other one is. Unlocked. Yeah, that means you can overclock it. Ah. K means it's it's unlocked. And they usually charge more money for that. I'll get right on that. Yeah, I know, right? I've never overclocked. Mine is also K too, but it's like, why? <laughs> I got shitload of cores. It's fast enough. I, you know, man, if you have to overclock something, you got issues. You got other problems, yeah. Yeah, man. Like seriously, then why don't you just buy the the better CPU? You know, spend extra in 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and get a better CPU, and you're good. I have to be hardcore. You, technically, you could overclock this thing with this cooling and all that shit, but it's up to you. For that, you do need extra, but you have it. Extra uh, watt? Wattage. Wattage, yeah. But you have it, so you can overclock it if you want. And it's it's Coffee Lake, by the way. 87K is Coffee Lake, 6 core, 3.7, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, their Intel website should have a socket on there. Is that where you're looking? I was looking at the new one, but it's socket oh. LGA. Well, yeah, but which number? Uh, one five, uh, one one five one is what it says. Oh, 1151? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I, that, those numbers don't mean anything to me, by the way. I'm out yeah, of that game. Yeah, well, it's newer. I've been well, mine is the same socket. It's kind of funny. I've been out of that, that game for a long time. So they'll tell you which risers to use, I'm guessing. The rubber. slide, yeah. yeah. Probably to be adjustable. Oh, I see. We don't need the, ch the short ones. For the short I see. LGA 1150. You're talking this. 1150-51. You're talking these are separate than those four. Yeah, and that's what I need, exactly. Screw that. We don't have to install the OS, I can do that at home. 
Well, it'd probably be a good idea to power it. <coughs> oh, we will. <coughs> I'm kind of glad I got the red thing there. There's a blue one. <clears throat> that goes better. Okay. All the easy stuff. We got water cooling installed. The, the next thing is the video card. See, we have to take that top plate off. That's annoying. Which plate? This here. Why? Now we just slide in. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I can't push it down until I slide I see. it in. Although the, that's what is, I was doing. It is screws, not screws, so it's not that big. I'm starting to hate this case, dude. No, this this is unnecessary. <laughs> like it looks nice, but like is this a real, is it really necessary to do all this? To get to what you need to do? Yeah. yeah no. Like it should have been just one screw or like a flip thing. Like a. Or oh, some push. Ah, uh, yeah. Like a tab or something. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that the power supply is on the bottom. to the PCI Express thing. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Because I was, because I got to install your OS test or something. Yeah, probably uh, get the drivers with the cooling and see. There's like a supposedly like software for it. Oh, okay. See. I don't know. Look for VMware to install and probably go pay for Windows 10. Mm -hmm. It should still be free though. You can use it, um, it's got that little splash background thing. It's not oh. free. They give you a little splash, splash background. Wow, oh, those are small. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the, ones that, the one that I installed, it was cheap though. It was on uh, like Amazon Day last year or the year before. And uh, it's like a hundred bucks for uh, Windows 10. A, no, for 10 for uh, a terabyte of SSD. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Windows 10, I have I had free upgrade because I had seven on my on my uh, VM. I have a VM on my on my Mac. I think these screws will work. So you're gonna install VMware on it? Huh? Yep. I will find a way to. I, I gotta get a. Uh, some kind of a virtual. Hyper-V supposedly it's free, so I'll, I'll see if I can play with that. I've never used it before. I used VMware, but VMware is like a 200 bucks. Thing. So, I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. I used VMware Workstation before. Hyper-V? Uh, Microsoft answers answer to a uh, VMware's I don't think these will work. Workstation. You don't think? They're all the same, so... That's cool. Oh, this is easy one with the show with the audio. I don't know how you see that just a piece of so I can't adjust. Uh, even with the glasses I can't read that. More does some straight on top of it like you are. Probably. But see we could route this even further down, but you know what? I'll let you deal with that shit later. Route <laughs> where? Where else can it go? Oh well. Aha ha, there's an FDO. That's okay, I can deal with that. I'm not worried about that. If that bothers me, then I'll just open it up and do it. You yeah, know, really. If it doesn't bother me, then it's fine. But like, if you really just wanted to show off your, um, the hard drives? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's, it's the serials are different as opposed to EID. Mm -hmm. It's old school stuff. Yeah. It doesn't matter with these really, because uh -huh. it's all just controlled by the virus automatically. 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 These cables are rough here. Yeah. 
We'll figure that out later. It is what it is. Maya. Oh yeah, we got to install RAM. Too. My dog push them. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that that will be interesting. I think that's okay. I don't see anything too. Wrong. It's probably true. Yeah, but it's just so tough to put it in, man. Every little thing, which is good, but not necessarily, yo. Oh, what is this? This is a SATA. SATA data yeah, connection. That's the data. Yeah, and EID shit. Yep. Old stuff. White, and then you got your red, yellow, blue. Mada. And then you have to worry about jumpers. Which way you turn it on? Yeah. Then you turn it on, it's like, it's not recognizing it. Why? Well, because... You didn't tell it where it is. Yeah, the jumper. You didn't tell it that it's a slave. You didn't tell it it's a master. I wish this could have come out a little better, but what Don't can you do? Don't you with that. That's okay. And then... We've got... Uh, is the the big one plugged in too? It's all plugged in? Data and power? I guess yeah. I'll find out when I install OS. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have it. It's all there. It's all it's all connected. I do that now. What are these? Ballistics? Coco, so 16 gigabytes? Yes, sticks. I'm assuming... I mean, this is dual channel, obviously, so I'm just going to put it like this. They both should be working dual channel. They're just... It's typically labeled like that. Where but you know this probably. Mm -hmm. When it comes to dual channel, you have to make sure they're inserted in the same color slot. Yep. I knew it in theory, I've never done it. There's a reason why it was black and white. Or black and red. Mm -hmm. That's that. Now we should be able just to power it on and get out of work just fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions on how to install any of these components that you saw in this video, I have a video for that. These specifically made videos are super in detail and up close. So whether you need to know how to install a motherboard, power supply, hard drive, or even the front panel connectors, I have videos that are specific to that and will teach you how to do it. So let me know in the comments below and I will link you the video so you can learn from it. Thanks again and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.